Hello and welcome back to Harv Plays Kerbal Space Program. We just left off, literally for me, about a few seconds ago. We just left off with our first successful flight and our first successful orbital flight. And if we just go up here and click Recover Vessel, we shall get all of the beautiful scientific data stored within this command pod sent straight to our our scientific research, our R&D. Here it is. Uh, so we gathered flying over Kerbin's shores, flying in the upper atmosphere, space over Kerbin's grasslands, space just above Kerbin's water, space above Kerbin's mountains, EVA report over the grasslands, and recovery of a vessel returned from Kerbin to orbit. All in all, which is worth 48.7 science. I feel that done button should have had a well done next to it. You know, I made it to orbit on the first flight, well done! Well done, and well done for clicking on this video. We're going to have fun in the next 10-15 minutes or so. So, first tier. Research, 5 science. We'll get a proper sized fuel tank. We'll get a diddy little fuel tank. We'll get an RCS. No, it's mystery goo. We'll get a mystery goo tank, our first scientific experiment. This unit was something one of our engineers came upon while stumped a dive um, whilst researching alternative applications for existing technologies. It's a sealed container which appears to be filled with a strange looking subject. Substance, even. We couldn't reach in or break the canister open, but watching how the scoop behaves when subjected to different situations could be very educational. And we get a decoupler with 1,200 credits, apparently. I wonder when this will actually start costing things. Okay, and because we have loads of science from that first flight, we can probably go straight to another upgrade. So, I think the next target is the moon. Uh, I think you'd agree. So we either have a liquid 99, uh, LV-909, good, very good for moon landings, got vectoring, that's good. Landing legs, very good for landings, obviously. Parachutes, I don't care about them at this moment in time. Or I can have a nose cone, which actually does improve flight response apparently now, so that, that will help. Uh, a winglet, which t does not have any directional lift, so I don't really need that. Or a rage with coupler, which will be very useful for making more solid and better staged rockets. Or finally, our option is to go with a big, powerful vectoring LV-99 engine, Sepatron, and a big rocket, uh, fuel rocket booster. I think my decision's pretty much sold. Oh, hang on, we have the science to record to research one of these as well. Another one. Okay. We either get the survivability pack, or we get the stability pack, or we save up for general construction and get struts. Now, struts will completely break our sense of fragility, because struts are the way to a better game. Uh, that's a very boring update up there. This is the best update. This is the best uh, one. Only costs 45 science as well. So we either save up to get that, or we choose one of these now. I think we'll go for our survivability pack. There we go. Which will also lead us on to winglets, probes, and reaction wheels, which is nice. Very nice reaction wheels, especially for non-vectoring engines. And we could also decide to go into batteries, more science, and more science, com dishes. Hmm, okay. Well, we'll have to think about that in the future, because for now we're out of science. So let's go back to the VAB. And let's build the next rocket out of the cradle, leaving the cradle mark 2, this will be. Um, let's change the description. See that grey thing? Why is it capital? I don't know. See that grey thing in the sky? Yeah. I want to hit it really hard. Yeah, I like making descriptions. I just I literally made that up off the bat. I, I really do like it. Anyway, let's, let's scrap this terrible design. And just save this as, essentially. Uh, let's see what we've got now. Okay, massive rotor roster of parts. Including an LV-99 landing engine. Which is very good. So I think for our landing, we shall have one of these with... Uh, we'll have these two backups on the side partly for landing legs, but also because in case we need to carry more fuel. And we'll have our landing thing there. Because this engine's way powerful enough to lift all this, so that's fine. Before we will do anything else, we want to make sure we've got a decoupler there. Excellente. Uh, let's put on some landing legs. 
these are telescopic piston like landing legs now, which is very good. Much better than the previous ones we had. Although, to be honest, I don't really need them at all for landing. I did the first landing on just the, the engine, the nozzle, which is quite interesting. But anyway. And. Ooh, yes. Mystery goo containment liquid or fluid. Let's take two of those canisters with us. Uh, don't particularly look safe there. We'll put them. We'll put them just about there. And no sub assemblies yet. Uh, we could always save this as a. There we go. We'll save this as a lander. Lander moon class. Uh, Mark one or Mark one. There we go. Save. And now we have a lander. Excellent. Uh, let's move on to the next stage. We want the the intermediate, the transfer, transfer, go to moon stage. Do we have any? No, okay, we can't split it up yet because we don't have any rage of the couplers. Well, we probably can. Uh, let's just let's just mess about. So let's put. Yeah, you know what? This is pretty much going to be sufficient to actually get us to the moon. Which one vectors vectoring this one? So if we just put something there, uh, we'll give ourselves one, two, four liquid tanks on the next stage. Or is that a bit much? Yeah, that's probably asking a bit much. We're probably thinking a bit too big. Landing on the moon really doesn't require this kind of quantity of fuel. We'll at least get rid of one up there. And then vectoring engine there. Uh, Yes, yes. Or no, hang on. Okay. Three there, two there, and then we're going to put things outside it. No, oh, we don't have radio, we don't have radio thing. Uh hmm. Okay, but we do have these. So what we can do, perhaps, is use these on the side and then mount linear decouplers underneath them. Which doesn't work. No, let's not try and be too... Let's not try and be too innovative. We just want to have a worthwhile mission now, don't we? So we'll... put three engines round on there. And add the two extra fuel tanks on top of each stack. Like this. No struts, so we will have to prepare for some kind of wobbling. We should probably make it sit on these engines. There we go. And we can probably just put a booster on and hope that it doesn't explode in our face. Hope to whatever deities there may be. Now, mounting them on... Mounting them there probably isn't the smartest idea. Uh, we could try this, but these probably do wobble as well. We could try it. No, it doesn't look particularly safe, though. And, uh, don't groan at me. I want my rockets to work, damn it. Okay, let's see about this. How heavy do they weigh when they're empty? Total mass. Uh, I want mass when empty. Where does it say? Dry mass, 1.5. Oh, okay, so it's only 4.5 extra mass. That's worth it in terms of the fuel, in terms of the thrust we'll get as a result of the solid rocket boosters. Yes, absolutely, that's worth it. Let's put some Sceptrons on our command module for purposes of getting the hell away from this thing, because it's a death trap. And this might be enough. I have a feeling this will be sufficient to get us to the moon. We do have our antenna on. No power generation as of yet, which may be a problem if we decide to actually transmit any information. But other than that, I reckon this ship is probably ready to go. Yeah, okay. Save that. Let's sort out the staging. So we want the first thing to fire, we want these engines to fire very lightly. Then it will all decouple, we'll have the next stage, all decouple, next stage, uh, decouple, and command module, and septrons and decouple if necessary. Okay, uh, we'll put these up here, save that, go into our action groups and set an abort sequence. So in the abort tab over here we want to no, we can't select it from staging, apparently. Okay. We want our Sceptrons to activate. We want our... thing to decouple. Yeah, okay. That works. Let us save, and be on our way! 
Will it be Jeb? Jeb did survive the previous mission, so I imagine it will automatically class Jeb, or put Jeb as our uh, pilot for today. I mean, he didn't do too bad a job, nothing major blew up. We did have a problem with the, the boosters on launch, but we won't have the same thing here because we're not relying on them for decoupling purposes. Okay, moon mission. Mission to the moon. Right over there. We're going to warp to get the moon just into a nice position. So that is something like here, so that as we come over the horizon, we should see it immediately and be able to start our transfer burn. And other than that, I think we're okay to start. So engines throttled down to about a third. Launch or lift off in five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Very smooth. I like it. Not even the slightest waving from this bit. And the engines are vectoring, uh, I believe. Yes, gimballing. They should probably be a bit more consistent, because I know that gimbal and vector are key terminology that confuses quite a lot of non-rocket scientists. Gimbal and vector, unless I'm very much mistaken, and if I have, if I am the one's pointed it out for the past two years, vic uh, vector and gimbal are both the act of... Uh, Pointing your nozzle in a direction in order to create torque and turn your ship. So we can probably get some good footage of this. Can we? Just, come on, I want to be pointing straight upwards. There we go, those boosters run out. Uh, we can't see them twitching, but you would be able to on any other day. I bet you'd be able to. So these engine nozzles would twitch in order to be off-center with the center of mass and therefore create some spin. Controlled spin. Controlled spin. Spin intended to actually point you where you want to point. Unlike I just slapped wing surfaces all over my design, is this a bad thing spin? Which doesn't really achieve anything apart from single stage to orbit. Or to ocean, even. That was going to be a joke and I just fluffed it up. Single stage to orbit. I actually said the damn phrase. Oh uh, well, never mind. We're beginning our turn over now. Much more of a calm and leisurely Auto launch. The second one in the entire universe, and it's already going smooth, very, very smooth.